Hi there, welcome to blog.lab6.org. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can change continue reading uh, wording or text in WordPress 3.2 default theme, 2011 uh, theme. So, for example, here I have uh, two posts, which is Hello World and Post 2. And in home page, you notice that uh, I have continue reading here on my um index page or home page so uh, if you want to edit it actually if you don't have that continue reading you should then check or edit and you should use this uh, more button or if you invisible you can uh, click that button uh, kitchen sink and then uh, this button actually you don't need a uh, kitchen sink to be open but you just need that uh, insert more tag more tag here so when I'm going to uh, put more here then I just uh, click here if I actually can click here that button and it's coming this small tag but uh, at the moment I have I have already had um, mine so I don't need to create two more buttons so uh, we go back again to our site now we're going to change this continue reading text so first step you're going to to your file manager and here you uh, I assume that you already create a child theme of 2011 so if I go to my WP dash content folder and then themes you see that I have my 2011 folder instead of 2011 this is actually the original 2011 theme and this is my child theme which is I labeled my 2011 theme and now uh, here in this page is actually index.php so we go back there and then go to the original 2011 and look where the index.php we look for index.php there it is and now we're going to edit and here we're going to uh, edit the file which is in index.php so you notice that it is not like what we expected so it is actually in content.php get template part and content so we're going to look for content.php close without saving then go back to content.php in the same folder going to look content.php there it is content There it is, content.php. Now we're going to edit it or call the editor. Now we look for continue reading. You notice that here we have something to look for here. So we're going to click that and then search for continue reading. And then find X or something like that. Now here it is, we have continue reading wording. But we are still in um, 2011 theme that means if we now change this continue reading wording it will be changed again next time when 2011 theme updated and we just remember this is in line 41 so now we're going to close it without saving and then here we're going to move so um sorry going to copy sorry so copy not moving copy and then here, themes, we're going to change to m the theme folder, my 2011 theme. So the child theme, copy files. Now up one level, here in my 2011 theme, we're going to check if that content.php is there. So the content.php is there, we're going to code editor. And here we can then change that uh, wording. You remember it was in line um, 40, 41, I think. So, or we just search continue reading again. Yeah, there it is, continue reading. For example, now I'm going to change it as keep on reading. And then I'm going to hit save changes. I go back to my blog. You know that now. It's still continue reading, but if I refresh it, it's keep on reading, right? So that's it. I actually, you should use um, child theme when you uh, edit 2011 theme. So thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye.
Take care.